Hey, Andrew Chomin here with a quick tip for machine. I'll be putting up one of these videos every weekend, so make sure you subscribe. Now in this video, I'll be working in the software. Not something I do a lot of the time, but when I do, there's a couple different improvements that really help speed things up. So first of all, I have a little drum loop playing here. Now with this, I want to add some shakers. Now there's a couple different ways to do that. First of all, I can go down here and select my little cursor icon, and then just double click at any point in the grid. Now that's just going to add a note. Now you can do that any place you want, and to delete them, just double click again. Now if I want to add them in at every point in the grid, I can go ahead and select my paintbrush tool here. Now if you just click and drag, that's going to put them all along on the grid there. Now if you want to do every other point in the grid, a um, quick little way to do that, this is something I do a lot of the time here, is just double click two in, I'm going to go ahead and select these, now holding down the Alt key on my keyboard, I'm going to go ahead and copy those over. Now I can repeat the process, and very quickly I have my shakers spread out along the pattern. So just a quick little tip using that copy and paste, something that comes in handy quite often I find. Now if you want to go ahead and move these notes around, they're going to lock in place, assuming you have this little grid icon selected on. So that's going to snap it to the grid. Now if you want to move it um, to a point that's not exactly locked in, you can go ahead and turn this off, and that'll move it to a place um, anywhere that you want to put it. Now it can get a little bit frustrating if you have um, your grid little snap icon turned on. If you want to move this around, it can get a little bit frustrating to go down there, turn it off, and keep doing that. So if you want to hold down the control button on your keyboard, that is going to sort of turn the snap off, and you can go ahead and put those notes wherever you want them. Um, so just a nice little thing there um, when I'm trying to edit notes when I don't have anything um, locked into the grid. So maybe these two notes here, um, I can go ahead and hold down the control key and just move them around however I want. So that's it for this video. I just wanted to show you the select, copy, and paste, as well as the freeform move using the control key. Um, again, make sure to stay tuned on the weekends for these little quick tips and um, any comments, I'll get back to those soon. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next video.